Uh, It'd be funny if they if, if, if her likes in this one were the same as as they were in the other one. What What do you mean? Like she had the same likes between both games. They and the items she likes between this DLC oh. and the regular game. <laughs> I I thought you said legs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what are you talking about? And I immediately went to go look at her place. Right, all ready for a quick mosey across the desert. That is, assuming you've all got your medicine. Right here. It won't leave my side. I can't do whatever Hugo's accent is. How about you, Milton? Mikhail? We're all good. I've been keeping tabs on him since morning. Then let's embrace the arid beauty of the Danag Desert. We will be able to see the capital before long. Hope we won't get lost out there. We don't have the luxury. The capital needs to be informed of Malice's intentions as soon as possible. And let us make haste. Okay, we're making haste, Tim. I'm still in the cutscene, so... Oh, all oh, right. Hang on. Let me see. First of all, I need to move this. <coughs> I might actually have to look up how to screen share on Discord because when I went to the thing, I think that was just the. Uh... Or well, maybe I don't know. No, it says stream. So you mean this? I think that's hey, the Corbin. stream. But hey, Corbin, open up Discord. I did open Discord. I did open Discord. Look what I did. Well, there you Watch. go. You can see it now. Yes, I can. Is it? Is it ahead of the stream? Yeah. Yes, it is. is this really worth the you're still standing there on the stream, but you're moving around in the other one. Oh, okay. That's good. Is this really worth the effort? <coughs> That's perfect. Now now it'll be all set for when I uh when I start streaming Xenoblade DE. Also, is this the right way that I'm walking? Yes it is. All right. Spill it. Oh hey, guess what? I mean crackers. The supplies I ordered for my art class last week still aren't here. They were supposed to be here yesterday. I don't see you and Art mixing very well. Well, obviously, you haven't seen how... What my, uh... Really bad sketches look like, because they're actually not that bad. At least that's what I like to assume. I... Okay, let me rephrase that. They're not bad for someone who doesn't practice at all. Well, tell it to your sisters and make them... Have them sketch it afterwards. Have them sketch what? Well, it's not like. Wait. Well, that you won't turn in. You'll see whose is better. Oh, there we go. So you can do like a little competition to see who sketches better. I need to remind you that I'm currently in classes to learn how to actually draw. So it'll still be something fun you could do. You've never had a friendly competition like that with your siblings? No, because I used to not draw. And I'm, like, just now actually drawing. Well, why don't you try that competition? It sounds like a fun thing. I... Okay. I'm not actually, like, drawing people and stuff yet. It's all, well, like, doing specific uh, exercises. Well, why don't you have them draw the back same thing, but see who, who draws it better, you or them, for just for the fun of it. Well, I'm sure it would be them, because they've have been actually, like, actively doing art for a while. But don't. But you gotta try it. I will lose! <laughs> it doesn't matter. It'll still be fun. Yeah, whatever. You set a time limit for them. There you go. Um. Is the screen big enough for you to, like, see stuff? Yeah, I can see. To... Yeah, okay. I, can, I can see you playing Torna. I was gonna say, because I could make it bigger. If you want it to be bigger. You're just changing this topic because you don't want to talk about it anymore. No, I'm, I'm just saying. 
Ooh, Dr. Pepper. Do you want to know the kinds of drawings I did today and see if you know what any of the names are or what they are by the names? No, not really. You're forgetting. Unless that's something to do with my anime, unless you're drawing pictures of cute anime Neko girls. Or Nekos in care period. I well, I can care. definitely tell you it's not that. <laughs> So hopefully, eventually, I'll know how to do that. I will gladly take one from you if you do that. <laughs> They're adorable. I can start drawing all the OCs that are locked in my head. I have a feeling, you know there are male Nekos too, right? Yeah. So think about this. In if fact, we could Dungeons the Dragons, Dragons, I could play them as a male Neko. In fact, here's the funny thing. Um, when I was thinking of, like, characters... <laughs> when I was thinking of characters to make for, like, the first game idea I came up with, um, the only cat person that I had made was a dude. I have a feeling if you make a game and put us in it, you're gonna be like, Tim is gonna be a cat person. I've essentially made a universe in my head and created a bunch of different races for it. Okay, what race it, or what races are me, man, you, and that in, the, in your little universe? Um. Well, I. I can tell you the group of three people that I made that I kind of based off of us. Okay. Uh. Oh. We. <laughs> I freaking everyone that was like right in front of the thing that just burrowed underground just fell over. Also, my gosh, it's really freaking hard to time his gun art canceling. Whatever, he's still fun to play. Um, as you were saying, stop trying to make this weird for me. <laughs> I humbly apologize. <laughs> I don't know what Adam was saying, but I just randomly heard Manoff say, "Stop trying to make this weird for me." I, I don't. I haven't come up with a reason why they exist yet. <laughs> they just exist because they exist. We're just gonna go with that. Okay. The only now, thing. Let's... The only thing I have that's closest to something like that is the cat people have like have fur around their bodies, not all over it, not all over their bodies, but around their body, because maybe their home planet is like colder. Like by default, then Earth, something like that. I don't know. Uh, before I tell you real quick, I'm gonna get this side quest because <laughs> gotta do all them side quests. There's nothing here, nothing at all. <laughs> Look at all this nothing. <laughs> There's so much nothing here. I'm gonna have to rewind my neck out because I accidentally hit play on it when I was moving the mouse, so my Xbox didn't turn off. Wait, why am I angry? What's it to you? The Dane Torn's capital. I met Napon who sold it to me. I believe it. Oh, I see. This girl got sold a um. <coughs> this girl got sold a treasure map by a Napon, and she's like, "I got scammed." Was it Tora? So now she's like, "Here, freaking take this treasure map and find it for me." We cannot turn them away. Was it Tora? I don't know. It might be Tora's Grampy Pawn. I don't know how long Nafon lived for. Do, do, do. Side note, the Nafon in... Actually, I don't know if I want to tell you that. I was about to tell you the age of the Nafon party member in Xenoblade DE, but I don't know if I want to tell you that. I can tell you, though, that... Uh, in the Napon party members that you get in uh, Future Connected are that that Napon's kids. Mm. But uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm trying to remember if I gave names to the races or not. I don't think I did. 
Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I did. Uh, anyways, the... The, I, I'll preface this by saying all of the three characters that I'm about to talk about are actually, they're all half human, half their other race. Well, I don't know, the third one might be a full of his race, but I'm not, I haven't decided yet. Um, I'm trying, well actually... You, Tim, you've made me want... You've made me discuss things in my head about how I want these characters to be now. <laughs> you're welcome. Now I'm... <laughs> I might have to get back to you on your question because now you're making me rethink things. Uh, does... Wait, does the... Does this tell me where this other side quest is located? Because I saw it on here. Oh, it's... Okay, never mind. We're going back to the village because apparently someone there has a side quest for us. I don't know if I'll do it right now, but I'm gonna... Why didn't the career... You think when they build a world, they would at least give us the idea of how long the Napalm lives for because you cannot find it anywhere on the internet. Uh, don't look too much on the internet because, um... The... We're, we're in the point of release where Xenoblade DE has been leaked onto the internet, so there are probably going to be spoilers on there if you look too hard. Why do you think I, why do you think I only have in Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Oh, okay. Granted, if I probably just removed Xenoblade Chronicles 2, I could probably find it, but I'm not gonna. Xenoblade Chronicles? At most, I can find Tora's Grand Pupun is 120. Is the is it someone's guess? I don't know why. Oh, there's no way that that is the way that that is. How old would you say Tora's Grand Pupun is? Uh, I don't know. Probably like. Probably like at least 60. <laughs> I'd say <laughs> maybe like 70. I don't know. Technically, he's supposed to be dead, but whatever. Uh, he's written a new book. Oh, I get it. His book titles are based on like what's going on during the story, and that's why he's like writing it because the first one was a happy encounter like right after he ran into the group and now the second one's mm -hmm. called beyond mm -hmm. endless dunes and we're in a desert can we actually read these books is the question i doubt it how how narcissistic how narcissistic would it seem if one of his uh most favorite items was one of the books he wrote <laughs> you could try it I'm sure I could actually, like, find that in his affinity chart if I looked. I've gained more power. He's gained more power. Never mind all of his... Stuff is question marks, so all time to try... Yeah, Give well... him his own book. I want to try it. No, I... Well, I don't know. It won't hurt. Does, does anybody even have any empty pouches right now? I mean, Hugo has an empty pouch. I can give him a book. Let's give him Happy Encounters because that sounds like a fun book. Your manuscripts never <laughs> cease to More egg likes it. Oh. Bridget likes the books. It'd be uh, funny if they if, if, the, if her likes in this one were the same as as they were in the other one. What What do you mean? Like she had the same likes between both games. They and the items she likes between this DLC oh. and the regular game. <laughs> I I thought you said legs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what are you talking about? And I immediately went to go look at her legs. <laughs> now you get it. Wait, why the fudge? Ah, it's a gorilla. 
At least it's not the like 30 foot gorilla that uh, plays electric guitar. I can't. Remember. You have no idea what, what I'm talking about, do you? No. It's what it's the thing that um. It's the thing that the Napan Arch Sage says the first time you go into the uh, the challenge area in Xenoblade 2. Ah. He's like, friend, friends look like a uh, 30 pound, 30 foot gorilla come out of nowhere and start playing electric guitar. <coughs> <laughs> That's actually a, a reference to literally every Xenoblade game, because there's always a giant gorilla in the early game area that's like level 90, and it's just, just like running around and it comes and attacks you. There's a level 99 in the early game area that I found. It's probably more so referring to the first Xenoblade, though, because in oh. that, that one, the gorilla is literally just walking around right near the entrance. Do you remember the... Do you remember the one... Do you remember the giant T-Rex in the regular Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Uh, yeah. Did you ever ki Did you kill it or did you run away for the quest for it? Well, how the fudge did this gorilla just kill me in one hit? Because you're not. Because I'm not. Because it's level 30, you're level 25. Also, Hugo. Okay, well, this... I'm gonna... How do I stop battling a dude? That's how I stop battling a dude. Running away. Oh, what the fuck? I jumped and I got smacked out of the air backwards. That looked funny. Um, Put that in slow-mo in the video. There you go. Man, I actually really like the way this area looks. This is probably my favorite looking area in this DLC so far. <coughs> if I ever play this DLC, you know what I'm gonna end up doing. You know what I'm gonna end up doing. I don't know what you're gonna end up doing. What are you gonna end up doing? I am gonna become sit there and grind in one area until I become so powerful that I just kill everything. But you can just do side quests and get that strong anyways. I'll do both. Do every side quest and max out everyone's infinity charts. Where am I going? That's not really... Um... So, Freaking... <laughs> why does everything want to kill me in this desert? Because it's a desert. I hate these stupid dudes that just shoot stuff at you from really far away. I love them in the regular game, they're fun. They're literally my least favorite enemy. What's your favorite enemy? Uh... I'm thinking... 30 seconds. Pro probably the land sharks. <laughs> Just because they look Be silly. Mine's probably the level 90 T-Rex because it was actually very fun to fight. Plus, it was the first thing I ever got the full boost, the full chain thing on chain attack complete off on. I got the, my first chain attack complete off on the, uh, on Bonna's dead. <laughs> That's pro that was probably my favorite boss fight in the entire game. You're just, just fighting Bonna. Because you're just fighting a Napon riding a giant dragon. <laughs> and it's playing... It plays the, uh, the theme that plays when you fight the giant maid robot as well. I killed every... I'm gonna kill every unique monster in Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Are you? At... Either, and probably in Definitive Edition, I'm probably gonna sit there and play and try to kill every unique monster I can. Tim, I found the hidden treasure from the map. Also, more eggs jump and enjoy. <laughs> That's not more egg. Bridget, sorry. <laughs> hey, I like the regular I'm... game. I'm so sick of these dudes that just shoot me from really far away. 
At least it doesn't take very long to run away from them. He says, as another one gets ready to attack him. Nah, there's <clears> none <throat> over here. Yet. <laughs> Enemy health bar pops up on screen and battle music starts playing. No, my yet's better. <laughs> Yeah, I found the treasure. You suck at treasure hunting. Stupid. Watch her be like, okay, you want to give me the treasure now? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess this person literally just like gave me something and was like, yeah, I'll join your community. <coughs> Oh, hey, guess who's dumb? What? Why are you dumb? Uh, because remember when I said I was gonna go back to the village and get that side quest? Time to go back to the village? Yeah. Because <laughs> I Awkward. somehow forgot to do that, even though I was going back that direction anyways. I wanna watch my Neko girls how much longer? I mean, I was planning on streaming for... Well, I'm not going to stream for two hours because I was here for way too freaking long. We'll end it at 10.30. Soon, my neckos. Soon. Plus, I got one other thing to draw, but that's only going to take like 15 minutes, so... I'll give you another one. Draw a neck Try to draw a neko. I'm probably doing my assignments wrong because uh, I keep looking at the... Uh... Wait, is he here? Oh, there he is. Um, I keep looking... Like, there are, like, time estimates for how long that they should take. So, essentially, what I've been doing is I've been trying to take as long as it says. Which I, I'm assuming is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to take around that amount of time to draw your thing. But I doubt I have to actually take the entire length to draw it. Here's I, my question. How do they know you don't take longer? I don't know. It's an online class. There's not really a whole lot they can do about that part. <laughs> okay. uh, 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 I don't know what you told me to do, but I'm gonna go do it. Don't you worry. I've got this. <laughs> oh, I guess I already have the stuff I need to give him. Here you go. I'll be right back. Oh man, I'm getting a. Uh, recipe for meatball stew. Tim! I have returned. There is another side quest over here we must accept. All the side quests. <laughs> I just opened my map to see if I had any skip trouble points over here, and lo and behold, I see a side quest icon on the map. Also, this dude's totally gonna try to shoot me. Never mind, he didn't. I'm surprised. Hold on, hold on. Do, do, do. Joke's on this guy, I'm gonna attack him first. And then he just smacks me and I fly backwards, never mind. Curse you, big thing that shoots me from really far away. I did, but I wanted to now. Someone is dead. We found a dead person here. Water. Hey, hang in there. Maybe he should drink something. I mean, they said... I'd they like said they wanted water, so that would make sense. Hey, look, you can complete the quest. Wait, it did turn into a exclamation point, didn't it? Yes, it did. Oh, it's a, one of these things. Here, have a lacto nut. Oh, wow. Okay, hang on. How about this? Oh, gosh. I need a bunch of these things. Okay, just eat all of these lacto nuts. <laughs> Not enough for you. Eat some of these hustle hyacinths. You still want? You still want more? Eat some sour avocados now. Oh wait, the sour avocados filled filled the bar up so fast. 
Who knew that sour avocados were so hydrating? Now you just look like a sassy person. You really saved my bacon, thank you. Talking about your clothes, your clothes are bacon colored. The name's Pal Palva. Just an adventurer with a dream of finding fame and fortune here in the Danag Desert. Though dream implies it's not, it's act, might not actually happen, eh? Believe you me, it's definitely gonna happen. It has to. I was feeling pretty ravenous, so I chowed down on a couple of red pollen orbs I found in a green barrel. Uh oh. Wait, show me the green barrel so I can smash it. I, that's my, I have a job to do. <laughs> that's gonna be my title. Corbin, smasher of green barrels. <laughs> my body got really hot, so I gulped down, gulped down a whole bunch of water. I waited for my partner, but they never came back. When I ran out of food and water, I thought I was gonna die. Why didn't you just go back to the capital? Didn't want to give up my lead. Legends say that the Donog Desert has gold just lying around all over the place for anyone to take. And my partner and I made it out here before anyone else. Hey, Adam. Er, uh, is this true about the gold? Ask any tone and school child and they'll tell you that it is. No more than legend, then. <laughs> I should have known you would be non-believers. Steady on, we're not doubting you. We didn't come all the way out here to dig some childhood fairy tale, you know. I got a machine that tells you exactly where gold is. I see. It looks like a Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your hidden Can weapon? I? Can I have a Roomba that looks like that? Corbin, you can make, decorate, uh, 3D print the items up, and then you can make it. 3D print a Roomba. No, 3D print items attached to him, then attach him to a Roomba. 3D print a hat for a Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely, my why partner. Can't see, oh. Why can't I see you doing that? I don't own a Roomba. Maybe when I become rich and famous, I'll own a Roomba. One day, Tim. One day I will finally have a Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> the plot twist, we get you one for your birthday. <laughs> well, hey, if it means I'll be rich and famous by then, then sure. <laughs> what would your mom say if we actually did get you one? She'd probably be like, why do you need a Roomba? <laughs> That way I don't have to sweep my room anymore, Mom. I also suggest we can go for rides. That too. Make for great <laughs> internet content. <laughs> Precisely, my partner hauled it up in a load of salvage. All it needs is a gravitonic clutch, and it should be up and running, sniffing out gold like nobody's business. The machine doesn't look that amazing to me. Palava! Sorry, dude, Don is slightly late. Slightly? I never nearly shriveled up out here and died of thirst out here. Oh, wait, that's the that's the Napon that I helped uh, last stream haul up, like, some stuff from the Cloud Sea. <laughs> Biggest apologies. Oh, wait, it's you. Meme? Friends are same friends who helped you, Don, before. Fancy meeting you here. Wait a sec, dude. Do Don, you know these people? Yes, yes. Friends were big help when Dudon needed to get gra Gravitonic Clutch. <coughs> wow, small world, eh? Anyway, this is no time for idle chit-chat. No siree. We need to get the Fortune Fortune Finder Matron 4000. <laughs> That's a name. I've been running. Dudon on it! Please be a broken thing. Dudon fixing noises. All done! Does it work? Does it work? When switch on, machine will run over one run all over Danag Desert and find gold that buried in sand. Probably. Oh, very impressive. Some high tech wizardry, that's for sure. Right then, do down, my old mat my old matey. Time to close our eyes, cross our fingers, and dream of gold. Switch on now. The Roomba is go off to go sweep the entire desert. Oh, it's back. Did it find anything? You done? 
I noticed the Fortune Finder Matron failed to find her Matron any fortune. Meh, meh. Turns out that Dudan's self-taught engineering skill is not sufficient. You bloody Nophan. I sunk every last penny of my savings into modding the FF4000 so it could better produce results and fast. Machine need remodel by expert. Like crazy inventor who live in capital or anyone. Please, not to pressuring Dudan anymore. He seems to have cracked a little. Hey, please help me out. Dudan has already lived, outlived his usefulness, so you're all I've got. Wow. Rip Dudan. To tell you the truth, I'm a little curious myself as to whether there's any gold in the desert, so why not? Yes, indeed. Consider my interest peaked. Okay, then. Let's go find someone who's good with machinery. Quickly, let's go to the future and find Rex. Community lost? What? You can lose community? This is some bullcrap. Dudan, what the fudge? Why'd you leave? There must be nothing more Dudan can do with Fortune Finder Matron 5000. Or 4000. Friends must take to someone who knowledgeable about machine. Like crazy inventor in capital. Or anyone at all. Alright, Dudan. Okay. Let's go to the capital. Wait, Hugo can make a gold detector now, apparently. You're going to go ahead and oh, go wait, make Oh, wait. Does that mean that I'm supposed to make that in a camp? Yes. Wait, what's attacking me? Oh, I can have... <laughs> apparently, I can have Hugo tinker with it, or I can find somebody in the capital. Let's see if I can tinker with it right now. Since I spawn right next to a campfire. Hey, look at more chats. Shall we get started? Shish. I need another scarlet coil. I don't know where I get that from. You can always look it up on, on the internet. It's probably Allow just like... Demonstrate my skill. I will challenge myself today. It's probably just like any uh, machine on this continent. Don't forget to talk. You're welcome. Agreed. We just need to get across to Nog Desert and we'll be in Oresco, right? Right. The desert is a harsh place, but the palace is always visible. You can use it to orient yourself. It must be pretty enormous for us to be able to see it from such a distance. Don't try looking up when you're standing right in front of it, is all I'll say. Torn in technology represents the high watermark in, any, in many domains. This type of skyscraping architecture is just one example. Yeah, then what's Adam's do what's Adam doing in such a teeny place back in Letta? Ha ha ha. Please tell me at a certain point we get his special cloak. Wait, that's it? Wait. Tim. What? I'm stupid. Why? Oh wait, maybe not. Maybe I'm not stupid. I am stupid! Ha ha! You didn't... That... You forgot I, about I, that? I, I didn't know this was a screen I could access. Let's see how many levels you have. <laughs> Up to 34. <laughs> well, there you go. I was wondering why all the enemies always seem to be higher leveled than me whenever I go to a new area. This I would be why. <laughs> How the fudge did I not find this? It's gonna bug me. Can you please just make her level 35? No. Why? Fine. I fight for my friends. Yay. Laura is, I confirmed, she said she fights for her friends. You have nothing to say to that. <laughs> she is like... Okay, then. Try and kill me now, gorillas. <laughs> Plot twist, they do kill you. I'm higher level than them now, though. <laughs> right, do you want some of this level 28 scorpion? 
Okay, it's actually still kind of hurting a little bit, so I should probably still be a little careful. <laughs> You know what this father? Can a blade be summoned by a regular blade? Yeah. Remember the uh the beginning of the beginning of the main game. Remember Malice has the uh alien looking dude? Yeah, but he's a flush eater, technically. Malos? <laughs> oh wait, no he's not. Yeah, Jin doesn't but the, have he's a, a He's a Are special. You, yeah, you're gonna say he's the Aegis. Uh... I don't know. I don't know if there's any other examples, but I'm just assuming that that would be a thing. Wait, no, never mind. Wait, no, never mind. Hang on. Never, nope, nope, no, no. I was about to say <laughs> Spoilers. I'm probably going to bleep that out when I edit this for YouTube. <laughs> Just put a little comment over it when you bleep it out. So there is no one else. Ah, this is new. Enemy starts attacking. So...